It's time for a segment we call Superstars. This Mobile, Alabama rapper burst on the scene with his first hit single, Throw Some D's. Now with videos, tours, countless fans, and two BET award nominations this year, he's proved he has staying power. Sights and Sounds had a chance to sit and chat with Rich Boy. Okay, you got a show, Street Dreams tour, everything like that. Tell us about how the tour's been going. Yeah, the tour been great, you know what I'm saying? Like, great crowd participation. This is a great range and every time we come out there, just me, myself, and I here, just like, throw some D's. Every song, like, people just be excited that we got a tour going on. You know what I'm saying? No too many tours last long, but this tour been lasting. And, like, the people been riding with us. All right, you in St. Louis tonight. What you think of the crowd? Oh yeah, I love the crowd in St. Louis, you know, they do, they do their thing, like the ladies was out there dancing before anybody, anybody of the show came out, like they was doing their thing, they was partying hard, so by the time we stepped out, like they was really ready. And so how'd you get on, how'd you get into uh, hip hop? Through my own homeboy, through a DJ by the name of Nick and Knight down in Mobile, Alabama, and through my, my homie that's producing now, Polo the Don, like us three got together, and, you know, we just kept in touch. And um, Polo kept hollering at me, just asking me to see how I felt about rapping. And, I, you know, one day I just took the opportunity. I flew to Atlanta, me and him put a demo together, and we got a deal with Interscope. And that's, that's how it happened. It's a great feeling, you know. Everybody don't get the opportunity. It's just like they say, it's the, it's the street dream. It's a dream, you know what I'm saying? We live in the dream that a lot of people dream about. And it's just a blessing to me, especially coming from Alabama. Most underestimated state, you know, the most step on, but they be doing our thing now. You know what I'm saying? I love all the fans. I just want to let them know, you know, that's who make me. I realize that everybody, you know, that's out there supporting, buying the albums. I hear on the tour date, they, like they, they who make us what we is, you know what I'm saying? And I just got to thank them before I thank anybody, and that's what's up. Thank you very much. That's all we need. Thank you.